Well, hello there, modded Minecraft. Feed the Beast Infinity Pack. Changes I've made to this pack before we begin. I've added Galactocraft, Mechanism, uh, Compact Machines, Optifine, Practicalities. I've removed Red Pro Project Red Illumination because that thing's a pain. And Thalmic Energistics because it was causing conflicts with Mechanism. Hopefully I'll be able to put that back in at some point, but for now that's out. I have removed Natura Clouds in the Overworld because I hate them. Um, although they don't show up on the minimap in this pack, which is good because that always really got on my nerves. And uh, Taint Biomes already in the config was set not to spread, so I didn't have to change that. So, uh, delete that. That was a terrible start. The whole thing was jungle. Not a great starting point. So let's go with... That is a seed. This is because of the day it's coming out and what else is happening on that day, in case you don't know. Uh, Biomes are plenty, cheats off, and chest off. Oh, done. Let's try this one then. Should take about a minute to load. Okay, what biome is this? Magical forest, that's nice. Let's give it a moment. Uh, change my render distance. 12. Oh yeah, and there's a... Oh, hello. No, go away. There's also a thing to stop Z fighting. What setting was that again? Um, Slipgator did this. Fast render off. Whoa. Hello. What was that? This just generated next to me while I was standing there. That's crazy. What is that? Seriously, what is that? Got some iron there. Mana bean. What on earth is that thing? It just generated while I was standing right there. You saw that, right? Seriously. Um, my skin is not rendering in because my internet is being a douche at the moment. Oh, it's a village. That's really cool. Rubber wood. Huh. Great wood. That's Thalmcraft. Ooh. Ow. This is actually a pretty good start. But being right next to a village. I'm liking it. Vishroom. I'm not sure about all the dark spots it's creating, but yeah, it's a pretty good start. Resonating hive. I proof. I really approve of this seed. Pro tip: Caliborn is a good seed. Okay. So we've got some smeltery stuff. Let's get some wood going. I'll get the standard derpy initial equipment going and then we'll uh, have a look around. Why is my map not loading? No. Jay? No. Uh. Oh, hello. There we go. Load properly, please. Yeah, so this is a walled village. That's it's actually a huge walled village. Blimey. 
And what do we have over here? More. Cherry blossom, fungi forest, that's a volcano, even if it's not showing as such. That's not telling me what biome that is. Lush river, kelp forest. Well, anyway, as I say, I'll be back in a bit. So this house has spiders in it for some reason. I do not know why this house has spiders in it, otherwise, well, I guess it's just not well lit enough inside. But yeah, spiders. What sort of spiders? Cave spiders? Don't tell me they're cave spiders. Oh my god. Wait, how? Wait. I recognise that kind of tree with the cobwebs. So is it spawner? Oh, those trees have spawners under them, and the spawners end up inside the house, doesn't it? Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Wait, wouldn't that make the silk glades? Isn't that normal river? Huh. Gee, there must be a spawner right there. It makes me wonder why it's not spawning them out here. Okay, here's the entrance. I guess. See, so I'm worried this place is going to be kind of dead. Excuse me, I disabled Overworld Cloud in the Natura config. How dare you! Oh well, I'll put up with them then. There's another entrance. Trouble. Oh boy. So this is kind of dangerous. Yeah, this is sort of a deal. Oh, you are not coming at me from that far away, no way. Oh god, there's another one. Okay, I need to plug this up. I really need to plug this up. Oh god, there's more... Hello! Sorry dude, but you're... Uh, you're an acceptable loss, I'm afraid. Oh, it's night time. Goody. When did that happen? So, I'm off to a great start here. Uh, really? Oh, it tells you what hat they've got. That's cool. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a situation.
I'm just going to sort of hope to god there's nothing lurking up here and block myself in here but like what have we got? Dark steel, boots, no protection whatsoever. Unknown dimlets. And some gold, nothing terribly useful. Oh, I hear an enderman. And something shooting at me? Wait, what? Is that guards? Hmm. So I'm just going to kind of work on a thing here. Maybe try and get some of the tools going. Dig this cobble. See, I want to dig down and find coal and stuff, but if I dig down, I'm going to leave this area dark and then stuff will spawn up here. That's the problem. Well, I'll, I'll, oh, I left my crafting table outside, oh well. I can make another one. Um, I'll get some stuff done and then be back with you. Okay, so I dug down here, there's a cave below me. I remember that I didn't need coal because I got logs which I could make charcoal from, so I made a few torches, or well, more than a few, I've got 25, I made 32. Um, there's a cave below me there. I broke through into here, which is a conveniently adjacent building. So that's handy. And I've also noticed that we have something extreme. When did it change to daytime? It was nighttime, literally a second ago. Um, there's something incredibly useful right over there, which is a silverwood tree. And they're not exactly common, I don't believe. And there's one right here, which is incredibly useful. So I'm going to have a look around, try and get some proper food going if I can. And uh, something just blew up. So yeah, I'm, I'm just another little update basically. Just thought I'd let you know how that's good. <laughs> Creeper, oh lag, not good. Lag is not good. No! Balls. That's annoying. Can I patch this up? I can. Get out of the hole. Please. Still hear things blowing up in the distance. Will you? Of uh, dirt. Let's just get this patched up. Even though it's more the lag's fault than mine. Still need one more block. And conveniently, have some logs. Oh. There we go. I need a hoe to fix it properly, but for now, do a bit of replanting. Get a bit more wheat going, because I am quite hungry. So yeah, another cut here I think, and I'll be back with you in a bit. But a slip gamer would say, I'll be our bees. I need to stop imitating slip. It doesn't work. Isn't that the one I cut down? That is 
was so weird. No, it can't be. No, the one I cut down was here, there it is. This thing gives you nausea. Oh, it also provides light. Anyway, yeah. Back in a bit. And there we go, my first diamonds. I bet it's only one. Oh, hello, glowstone. Two. So I wanted to do a shout out to Xander Hall, who's been three, who's been a subscriber of mine for a while now. Four, good. Five. This is promising. Um, he left a really nice comment on my um, vanilla episode last week, and I just thought I just wanted to highlight that because I thought it was a hello. I thought it was a nice comment. I mean, it wasn't anything sort of huge or really special, but. He, he said he appreciated that I'd brought the series back, so I just thought that was a nice thing to have said. So thank you. Um, Xander is one of the subscribers I have that I know watches more than one of my series as well. I mean, I'm sure he's not the only one who does, but he's the only one that I'm, at the moment I'm certain, does. Six diamonds. Not bad. So I took on an Ender Mini. I died. I took on an Ender Mini and uh, paid for that because I thought they weren't as tough as the proper Endermen. They are. Um, I saw a Slowpoke 101 wandering around, which means they're activated. I'm not sure which config I have to go in to disable the custom NPCs. Infernal Hive. Well, I knew that was going to be there because I knew that's what lurked behind the glowstone. Okay, so I want to get into having some stuff done. I want to jetpack first of all, so I can have a look around to get the lay of the land. So for a jetpack I'm going to need, first of all I'm going to need energy, so leadstone solar panel. Steel nuggets I can get from refined iron, which you get by just putting iron in a furnace. So let's do that. Um, or it used to be how you do it. How? You used to be able to just do that. Well, how do you have to do it now? Steel, steel, steel. Find iron. Smelting. Okay. Shaped IC2 crafting, dust furnace, redstone furnace. Oh, they made it more complicated. Steel dust from mechanism. So I may have to get into mechanism to get steel. Um, Which machine was it? Metallurgy Confuser, I believe. And then... Steel, 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 steel. Where is... Mechanism steel. Steel dust. Steel dust I can get from... Macerating, some centrifuge enrichment chamber, crusher, metallurgic infuser, enriched iron, the coal and iron goes to enriched iron, so I need the metallurgic infuser, yeah. So, once again, I come up to the tech hurdle of mechanism. I'm so glad I put this in. 
Best solution confuser, two furnaces, some redstone, some osmium, some iron. This is not complicated. So let's make a couple of furnaces. Got iron, redstone, I've got some, there it is. And osmium. Right. Osmium, redstone, iron. Oh, but then how am I going to power the thing? Mechanism wind turbine, I guess. Man. Turbine. But then I need power to... How do I generate power to start with in mod source? How do I do it? Oh. Man. Give me a minute. I'm going to check this. Okay, I've done a lot of grinding, uh, literally. Got a pulverizer because I need to pulverize coal to get sulfur. I've got a crappy little survivalist generator here providing a little bit of power. Um, but yeah, I now have everything I need to make a jetpack. Found some cows outside. Found a few more diamonds, by the way. Another three. They're in my other chest. Okay, and then the other thing I want here is to then... How do I make this? Tin and iron. Tin? Do I have any tin lying around? I do. Four tin, five iron. That is exactly the right amount, I believe. Iron armor plating. Let's do that. Bam. And then stick that in there. Get it charged up. And then the other thing I want is rubber boots, but I have to find a rubber tree for that. Right. So this jetpack's pretty lame, but. It'll do for a start. Uh, what do I need for rubber boots? Rubber boots. I need rubber and wool. Um, can I make a tree tap? Answer to that is yes. Let's go out and find a rubber tree. Every time I jump, it's triggering. Didn't know it did that. So I've never used these jetpacks before, so I have no idea what they do. Used it 1% of fuel already. As I say, it's not great, but it'll do for a start. Can I see a rubber tree anywhere? Um, optifying baby. So where did I spawn? I spawned sort of down there, didn't I? I think. No sign of any rubber trees. At this point I feel like the magical forest kind of sucks. Uh, the rubber trees are quite distinctive when you see them. Quite distinctive leaves. Well maybe that's a rubber tree, looking at the wood. Rubber tree? 
blah, blah. Give me tree tappable spots. No. No one here. Oh, come on. Fine. We'll do this your way. Fast decay gives me the saplings. Oh, more cows. Good. I thought the only ones I had were over there. Saplings. Okay, so let's go make some roots. That'll help negate fall damage. Is the idea. So I don't have to ease down quite as much. I only got two sticky resin, really. Really? I need more. See what we've got here is another one of those trees. You know what I'm saying about the one in there with the spiders in the house? That's another one and if I come up you can see there's a spawner. Um, should be a spawner at the base of it. No? Somewhere around here there was one with a spawner. That one? Yeah. See the spawner there? So that's what's inside that house. Ooh, ooh, berry bush. Good. Free food source. Let's find some more rubber trees. Excellent. Okay, we have some more open terrain up here. What biome is this more? It's not a particularly thrilling biome, but I can see some rubber trees over there. Stop lagging, please. I think I just heard a pop goblin. Yeah, that's a rubber tree, alright. Any tappable spots? Doesn't look like it. The other thing I want to do before I finish this episode is make a practicalities magnet. That'll probably be what I finish on. More rubber trees, good, good. I'm glad they've got a fast decay mod in because I believe Random Things is the one that does it in most of the mod packs I've played. And that's not in this. How much have we got now? Five. Yep, yeah, Hogoblin. 31% fuel. We need to head back soon. Let's just grab another bit of rubber. There we go. That should be enough, I think. Okay.
Okay, that is everything I need, I think. So the item magnet, I'd forgotten that radiant cores require ender pearls. That's fine, I found one lying around outside, presumably an enderman had died or an ender mini. So I can make that. I really want the rare earth magnet, but I need another three radiant cores for that. Um, and then I need to do magnetic south. Which is changed because it used to just be two different patterns with redstone. Magnetic north. And is that it? Yeah, the item magnet. Suck it. Which is, of course, a slipgate approach. As it gets all the stuff and things. Right, and the other thing was I wanted rubber boots. Which I should be able to do using that. Ta da! That's an improvement over wearing the wading boots, because they offer more protection. I'll just quickly recharge my jetpack. Please stop lagging. And uh, I think that's about it for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, why is my jetpack not making any noise? Oh well. Share favourite and comment helps support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date with what's going on. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. And I still don't have the right skin because my internet's being a douche. See you next time. Bye guys.